wig out from that box. Yeah. And stick it on your head. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? <laughs> is that a wig? <laughs> Is this just like a giant fish? fish? Are we dancing in those? Is that for the group dance? <laughs> That's solo. for Bossy? <laughs> like, is this really how Abby wants our kids like, to be represented like against big, Studio giant, 19? Big giant erasers. We can take their wigs and erase us. Uh... Oh my god, what is happening? I mean, can, look at the kids, like, <laughs> so serious. <laughs> Snooky Slipper is on Jason. They just look so cheap, and in a picture, they look so good. I had staff order wigs. Well, the wigs don't look like the picture. The wigs aren't the same color as they are in the picture. And frankly, they're not going to work. And the moms, I don't want to hear their mouths. They all think they dress well. I think they dress horribly. I mean, if Ashley was a Maltese, I would take those bangs, and I would put them in a little tiny ponytail holder with a bow up here. Joanne is always doing Joseph and the amazing Technicolor dream coat. She always has some long ass drapey cardigan type thing on and she's so short. All she does is make herself shorter. And well, we all know that she wears clothes that are too short. She needs to drop it about six, eight inches, cover her ass, cover the top of her thighs. She'll be much better off. Uh, Michelle, I did say something too, and she's dressing much smarter, streamlined, and sophisticated, which is a better look for her with that bad haircut. Now, Trisha dresses okay, and she always has these big, high, giant platform shoes on, but she can't walk in them. She needs to kind of stomp flat on her foot back and forth, so she kind of weevils and wobbles. But I haven't seen her fall down yet. I'm waiting. Someday she's just going to fall down. And then, Stacy. I don't think she spends a lot of money on clothes, or her hair, or her shoes. So, these women? By no means are they going to tell me how to costume my dancers. Instead, they should go to the mall and worry about themselves. You two have a character piece. Munchausen by proxy. Did you look up Munchausen by proxy? It's when a parent, or anybody actually, just holds their kid down and just keeps on telling them they're sick when they're not sick and when they are when they aren't and what they can do and what they can't do until the point where the kid finally figures out that they're not and then revenge comes. Okay, so we need to see that in two minutes on a stage with the prep. Presley, you make yourself invisible. If you're invisible this week, you could be done. Got it. Presley needs to not be invisible, as Abby says. I mean, I think it's absurd, and honestly, I think it's really hurtful to Presley. So she needs to get out there and she needs to perform. She needs to show up, prove Abby wrong, and get the jacket this week. Giannina, you don't have any character the whole beginning, but then at the end, when you get to be the one in charge, the one that's mean, then you have all the attitude in the world. But I think that's easy for you. That's nature. All right, I want to hear the music. I think the Munchausen by proxy number is an incredible routine. Giannina needs to be amazing because Presley has great musicality. She listens to the music. She may just get the jacket. Presley, are you going to let her walk all over you to get the jacket? I've made it difficult for her to step all over you. Such a peaceful duet practice for Gia. She gets to sit the whole time. I don't think Gia sits there till the end. She's sitting there right now. Gia is sitting. She's be so Presley could dance and have a better chance of shining while Gia sits. And if Presley doesn't, because if Gia was dancing, Presley wouldn't be able to shine. That's what was said. Get the f out of here, Joanne. She put Gia in the wheelchair so Gia wouldn't be able to step on my kid. That's what she said. Seems like Joanne can't handle the truth, is really what the problem is. There's a jacket on the line, and Presley has a superior role in the duo, and Abby likes her, and Joanne's mad. Oh, she's got Presley walking all over Gia now. Karma is a knee in the back, I guess. How's everybody feeling? <laughs> I feel fine. So you're happy with the dance, even though she only gets up for like, Maybe well, 30 you know seconds. what I'm not happy about, Stacey? I'll tell you what I'm not happy about. What? My kid's being sat because Presley felt invisible. Look at yourself.
Stop looking at everybody else to put the blame on everybody else. She never did anything. Abby's Come sadder, on. so your kid would not be invisible. Okay. You came in this week, and the first thing you said was that Gia was sitting because Presley needs to shine. Abby doesn't want to feel Maybe she thinks Presley's the better one to play the part. You're mad because my kid's the lead. Yeah. Abby, can yeah. do a solo. Ooh. Absolutely yeah. not. And you can wait the for your lips. Ashley, I don't even want to hear her mouth. What is she saying? You're only sitting Gia because poor Presley feels invisible, and that's the only way she's not going to feel invisible. Ugh! You're, like, always complaining. I don't complain. Well, shut your mouth, then. As usual, Ashley's trying to rattle my kid before she goes on stage. Because she knows if Gia's at 100%, Presley will not be seen. Good try, Ashley. I'll still shine brighter than anybody else on the stage because this jacket is mine.